So, I've decided to make it my mission in life to create the manliest conceivable Hearthstone deck. Alright. Now, what class are we going to choose? Pretty obvious answer to that, I reckon. Warrior. Yep, that's what I thought. Now, what's manly? Fucking weapons. Hitting things with your face directly. So, we're going to have us some fiery war axes. Uh, no weapons on that page. Ogre War Mall. Fuck yes. 50%. That's maths right there. Maths is some manly shit. Wish I had two of these, but I'm a little bit tight on the dust at the moment. Death Bite. One damage to all minions. That's basically an Arcanite Reaper for four damage. Speaking of Arcanite Reapers, there we go. Two of them. One Gorhal. And I think that's every single warrior weapon conceivable. Now we need some spells. Fucking. Okay guys, Inner Rage, best card in the game. Zero mana, one damage, plus two attack. That's three damage for zero mana. It's like a free frost bolt. And it's better because it doesn't freeze shit up to slow the game the fuck down. Why would anybody want that? Hell yes, get in my deck. Upgrade, of course, more weapons. Execute, nah, that would be too viable, fuck off. Cleave. Yeah, well I've got a golden one, so yeah, let's put that shit in. Armorsmith? No. Get the fuck out of here. Heroic Strike, that's what I'm talking about. Give my warrior some attack. That's what I like to hear. Cruel Taskmaster? It's like an Inner Rage, except it costs two mana, so it's obviously unambiguously worse, so fuck right off. Mortal Strike? Well, you're not hitting it with your face, and it's not as good as Inner Rage, obviously, but you know what, I think it'll do. Shield Maiden? Armor? I got no time for that, fuck off. Iron Juggernaut, that's what I'm talking about. 10 mine damage mine in your opponent's deck. This is a battle cry, right? So because the mine costs 0 mana, it's 10 damage for 0 mana. It's like, it's like in a rage, but it's just over more than 3 times as good. Because 10 is like a little bit more than 3 times 3. But they're both for 0 mana, so they're both equal to infinite value. Because that's how division works. I've been assured of this fact. Gromash Hellscream, hell yes. I didn't craft legendaries for no fucking reason. Damn right you're going in my deck. Okay. Neutral cards. No, no, no. Nonsense. Fuck off. Get out of here. Wait a second. Doomsayer. I like the way you think. Damn right. Get in my deck. Okay. What else have we got here? No, this all looks like a bunch of cancerous shit to me. Pandas. Yeah. Why the hell not? Because I still have a dream in which I can return the Iron Juggernaut to my hand with the panda and then watch someone draw three mines in a row okay it's gonna happen I have foreseen the future this all seems like a bunch of cancerous shit you know what let's just get to the interesting stuff here we go Noz Dormu okay objectively the best card in the game unambiguously I've played Noz Dormu in between 50 and 100 games since I started playing Hearthstone and he has provided me direct value because of his ability precisely two times. Now if that ain't value, I don't know what the hell is. Okay, what else have we got here? Let's go let's go have a look at some of these things. Oh shit, let's probably remove that restriction. Okay, Corcoran Elite. Yeah. Seems like a decent idea. Four damage, four mana, charge. That sounds like a surprise motherfucker type situation to me. And there's nothing more important than keeping your opponent guessing what your next move is. Charge, same logic. Warsong Commanders, yeah, that's what I like to hear. Frothing Berserker, never a minion takes damage. I, I rather like the idea of just doing damage to things indiscriminately, so we're going to put a couple of those in. A couple of whirlwinds, okay, scratch that, deck is full, let's go. Wait, have to name this motherfucker. I am playing Hearthstone with a piece of shit deck just called Custom Warrior. No, uh, Manly Penis. Close enough. Okay, let's test out this summoner bitch. Now you see, the key to playing Hearthstone is that you never ever ever play casual mode. Because it's impossible to win with dignity in casual mode. So, always, always play ranked. As you can see, I'm rank 17 because I have an inherent disdain for decks that are viable and good at winning. So rank 17 and I are very well acquainted. 
So we're going to see what we can do with this, if we can prevent from being demoted down to rank 18. Not that that would be a problem, because that's pretty much my most comfortable place to be. I've been there the most often. <sighs> right. If you win 500 games in rank mode, well, that's going to take you a while if you're playing with this deck. But at least, fuck bitches, am I right? Okay, come on. Wood PC, you can handle it. I believe in you. Let's get the show on the road. Yes. Come on, baby, there we go. Nose and mouth breather. I wish I had skills like that, I could play the didgeridoo. Oh, fantastic. Mage. Well, it's a good thing that this deck is counter flame strike because it essentially has no minions. Right. Well, that if that, that ain't the best damn hand I ever seen, then I don't know what is. Except obviously we need inner rage. Otherwise, we're going to definitely lose without exception because inner rage is infinite value, and this mage ain't got shit even close to that. Fiery wind axe in the opening hand cannot possibly lose. It's too late. I'm sorry, Terry, but you had your shot. Game over. What's that? Play the fiery wind axe on turn one? Yeah, nobody ever expects it. Now you see, I bet he's gonna want me to sit here and not use my chop. To just be prepared for him to play a two drop on turn two. Nope. Fuck you. Damage to the face. It's all about psyops. Psyops is the most important tactical asset you can have in Hearthstone. You've got to keep your opponent of the opinion that you are an insane motherfucker and then there's literally no way that you will ever lose without exception. See? No acidic swamp ooze. GG. We win. Ah oh, fuck. Forgot to attack that turn. Okay, it's cool. Definitely gonna attack him this turn regardless of whether he plays something or not. Because if he does or if he doesn't, he's still taking damage to his face and I consider that a profit. Fire blasting panda. Okay, don't worry guys. Obviously our opponent is some kind of control mage or some shit with no viable cards, early game cards in his deck. So we're just going to keep hitting him repeatedly with all of our weapons. Because control mages have a bunch of removal. Removal is good for getting creatures off the board. But they never suspected the strategy we're in. We just simply attack them with our face over and over and over again. What's this hero power again? You know what? If our good friend Terry over here doesn't play a creature soon, he's gonna start having a rough time. See? Death Bite. What's that? He's already below 20 HP. You know what? This game is easy. I don't know why everyone, anyone ever complains about not making it to legendary mode. You just fucking attack him in the face all the time with your weapons. Why has no one ever thought of this before? <sighs> okay, Sludge Belcher. It seems that we have been waylaid by cancer, but don't worry. Because Death Bite is literally Arcanite Reaper because it does 5 damage and I put one of these motherfuckers in I'm still regretting this guy, He's just, he just seems a bit too viable to me but you know what as long as it lets us get rid of sludge belches that feels pretty good to me um, I think I probably should have put the black knight in into this deck because even though it's a viable card and I'm uh, <coughs> fundamentally opposed to the notion of putting viable cards in my deck there's something you know surprisingly penis enlarging about using the black knight on a sunwalker because fuck sunwalkers am I right seriously makes me so mad okay it's cool we have an arcanite reaper and we have a four damage divine shield pop it's almost like this game is playing 100% into our plans yo Terry isn't gonna know what hit him turn turn seven okay maybe turn eight gorehal seven damage to the face I'd like to see you recover them from that we even have combos in our hand. All I need to do, do is draw a whirlwind, and then we will definitely have lethal next turn. I haven't even done the math. I just trust in the power of manly warrior shit. Look at all these red cards. It is a fucking fantastic color. Charge. Look at this orc over here with his red armor, about to slice that woman's face off. You know what? That's a pretty macabre scenario, but I reckon it's pretty fucking viable in Hearthstone. I mean, how can you lose when you've got card out like that in your deck. The more red, in fact the, the amount of red visible on your screen when you play Hearthstone is directly proportional to the probability that you're gonna win. Trust me on that. I've done the math. I never lie. Okay. 
So far, Terry is quaking in his boots. There's currently liquid shit sliding down his legs. He's so terrified because he's never seen this combo before. I mean, look at all that red. Just chilling there. My life total is red. Oh, flame strike. Well, lucky for me, we have a bunch of weapons. In fact, we have enough direct damage in our hand to f ruin the fuck out of Terry's day. Hello, motherfucker. Gromash health screen. Yeah, weren't expecting that, were you? If I had inner rage in my hand, this game would be over. He would now be on what? 5 HP? One more turn? Go hard to the face? GG. No re. Hope you had fun. Wait, do we have lethal? 7, 11, and 2. Okay. If we can draw a minion, he's dead. Ah, feels good. If he doesn't taunt, we win. And Terry goes home to his mother, and he rethinks his life, and is a couple hour long crying session, because he's just been so utterly trounced by the manliest deck in creation. He just doesn't know what to do with himself anymore. What's this? Hirobashi Berserker. That doesn't have taunt. Do you have a taunt, Terry? Because you're gonna have a rough day if you don't. Oh shit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I hate to say it, but this unmitigated piece of shit deck is about to win an actual game of Hearthstone. I know I'm as surprised as you are, but it turns out that every single piece of logic can now be conclusively stated to be factual. So, because I won that game, this deck is viable and is literally, without exception, the best deck ever made. So, I'm gonna go ahead and post it to every single corner of the internet. I hope you're ready for the new meta, because this game is never going to be the same.